Joining me here is the chairman and CEO of Baker Hughes a GE company, Lorenzo Simonelli. Um, thank you so much for taking the time, and I guess we have to say congratulations. In the years since we've seen you, a lot has happened for you. Tell us about the merger, tell us what's happened, new branding, all great. Tell us more. Well, yes, a lot has happened in the last 12 months, and as you can see behind me, it's really been the creation of Baker Hughes, a GE company, bringing together two great brands and trademarks within the industry that resemble what is innovation and technology. Baker Hughes from the oil field services and G oil and gas from the equipment side and really the liquefaction side coming together for our customers. So when we talk about the customers, obviously customers king in this industry too, but they're really demanding at the moment. What are the customers looking for? Surely they're looking for efficiencies, they've had a tough few years. What can you do to actually help make their life better? Look, paramount for the customers is a focus on productivity, cost per barrel. And that's what we're here to do. And if you look at the portfolio that we provide, it's very much complementary across Baker Hughes and GE. We've got a full stream offering. That means we can go from the upstream, midstream, and downstream, and take out the inefficiencies within the actual passovers from upstream to midstream and downstream. And also associated with the new technologies that we're introducing is big data using big data to actually drive better outcomes. That's our focus, is cost per barrel, making it more efficient for our customers as they seek that productivity outcome. When we look at the industry at the moment, is digital the new future? Is this what everybody really has to get on board? And of course, GE always, and Baker Hughes, I mean, the Baker Hughes at GE, I must get my branding right, um, pulling this together. I mean, the digital future, the digital oil field, this is what everybody's talking about. Are we there? Look, we've still got a ways to go. It is a, an aspect of the way in which we can continue to transform the industry and take it forward. There is no doubt that this industry still faces challenges. And as you look at inefficiencies, the oil and gas industry is two to three times more inefficient than other industries. Our quest is through new technologies, advances in materials, and the usage of big data really to drive those efficiencies. Big data is part of it. And digital oil field was about just capturing data. Now it's about using that data and making informed decisions. We only use 2% of the data that's actually captured. What we want to be able to do is now build algorithms that drive better outcomes, bring down non-productive time, increase production. You can see that with what we're doing in our projects with BP, for example, in their plant operations advisor in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that also with IntelliStream, which is increasing the production optimization of our onshore wells. So it is capturing data, but making informed decisions and better outcomes. And also, I suppose, it's going to make this industry a lot more interesting. Some people often even described it that the oil uh, industry could become a bit of a tech industry and maybe bring in more young people into the industry. How are you finding that when you're out there talking to young people? Are they interested or have they given up on the oil and gas industry? We've got to do a better job of bringing in young talent. And this is one of the ways we can by making it exciting for them, showing how much new technology and also analytics, IT componentry there is within this industry. We've gone through a tough couple of years. We have gone through a number of big restructurings. Now it's time to go back and show how the innovation can take us forward. This is an exciting industry. It's also an industry that is necessary for the good of the people globally. Energy is an important aspect. Gas, oil, are going to be necessary and we're here to provide it. So we've got to make sure that we recruit the best talent. Now a bit of strength coming back into the oil price. I'm sure everybody is rejoicing over this. Um, would you hope, I'm sure you hope, um, that this will be sustained. But do we, is there, how are you hearing? Is the sentiment out there getting stronger and getting better? Particularly too when we're looking at third quarter results. I think we're seeing a bit more of a positive picture. But clearly, uh, 60 is better than 20, and you are seeing some people with uh, a little bit more positive momentum, and obviously the movements that OPEC made over a year ago are having some impact. Demand is still good. It's still early days, though, and as you look at the outlook for 2018, what we're looking for is more sustained progress in the price outlook so that capital expenditures and projects start to go forward. That's really what we need to see from the oilfield services perspective is final investment decisions. Uh, again, we're hopeful for the long term. We still very much believe in the gas outlook and also oil coming back. But I'd say 2018 is a year in which we've got to see sustained price. 
and great to have you here as always at, at EPEG 2017. Uh, you've been talking with many of the other CEOs, you've been talking to the ministers, you've been talking to your peers here. What's the sentiment, what's the feeling um, with this at EPEG? I, I, hands, uh, hands down, this is a great event. Uh, my uh, compliments to the organizers. Adepec has been able to really gather uh, the world's leaders in this industry. Uh, when you look at the opening today, you look at the different panel sessions that have taken place. Uh, this is a discussion about how the industry moves forward. And there is an aspect of optimism. Through the downturn, uh, this industry has become more resilient. It's also become more innovative. It knows it's got to continue to evolve and change. And Adepec is a forum by which we can have those dialogues. So glad to be here and also glad to showcase Baker Hughes, a G company.